Where would one start with processes and procedures for landscape projects? How to outline the project in such detail that someone with little experience can get plugged into the system? All right, so I could, again, spend a whole episode on this. But what I would say is a couple takeaways. If you've listened, if you've been at the conference, you know how important these are to me. Number one, your estimate notes need to be so detailed that anyone from your from your company to be able to walk on the property and based upon just the notes from the estimate, be able to perform the work. We do our estimate notes and our, uh, our job notes the exact same. So that way, the, what the customer sees is what the crew sees, which means sometimes on the estimate it tells where something is at in the property or something that's really clarification for our our crew. But that way, the, the information that customer sees and the information that our crew sees is exactly the same. There's no miscommunication. Um, second thing, so I talk about estimate notes. The second thing is project management videos where the estimator takes a video for the crew. So between the estimate notes, which should be really, really clear, and the project management video, there should be absolutely no questions. And guess what? There always is. There's just pe people are people and there's and there's going to be things fall through the cracks and customers change their minds and they don't forget, they don't remember things and all sorts of chaos, but doing those two things will dramatically help at least.